Hello and welcome to this video presentation of Galgus CHT Cloud Manager. Cloud Manager is a cloud-based remote management tool for Wi-Fi networks. Through it we're able to manage various aspects of your Wi-Fi network and the CHT functions that we offer. I'll often be referring to CHT throughout this video, uh, CHT being Cognitive Hotspot Technology which is the service that governs all our smart algorithms such as load balancing, smart roaming and many more. CHT Cloud Manager can be used to manage Wi-Fi networks in various vertical markets such as aviation, rail, maritime and enterprise. For the purpose of this video, we're going to demonstrate how CHT Cloud Manager can be applied to the enterprise market. We're going to demonstrate uh, an imaginary hotel chain. Once you log on to Cloud Manager, you're given a geographical representation of your zone managers. Uh, in this video, we are demonstrating a hotel chain with a hotel in the USA and one in Spain. A zone manager is an isolated unit of logical management to manage groups of access points. In order to receive uh, any configuration defined in uh, CHT Cloud Manager, the access points must be in the same zone manager to receive that configuration. Here is the tab uh, list of zone managers. You can see the current zone managers currently in operation. We have two zone managers. We will be managing Hotel España zone manager. This zone manager currently contains three access points for us to configure. If you click on the action button, there's the option to edit or delete the zone manager. There's also the green register zone manager button for you to create new zone managers. Here is the administration tab. We are presented with users and roles. We assign users to roles. Um, roles have various rights such as full admin rights, as you can see, we have our users in the zone and their equivalent role. We've also got the option to add new users to the zone and assign them a relevant role. You are also able to create new roles and assign them to zone managers. Uh, a role can be given super admin rights. This means they can uh, create other users and roles. They also have access to other zone managers. We're now going to log on to our zone manager, Hotel España. To do so, we double click. Here on the general tab, we get a uh, network overview, given the current status of all the network variables. Normally when configuring access points, we would connect uh, the access point ports, ethernet ports to networks or VLANs. VLANs would then be connected to SSIDs. In the SSID, we would define password encryption and the CHT algorithm to be used. You can then associate that SSID with the access point radio and then configure the access point radio accordingly. Let's now go to our configuration view. Um, here we can see um, some access points that are already associated with our zone manager. Um, if you take a look, we can see uh, the max, the model, the IP address and the current group they're in. Our 
as you can see, our access points are in a root group named um, exteriors. We're going to be creating some subgroups. Um, one subgroup will be called piscina or swimming pool in English and another one called bar. Now we've created our subgroups, I'm going to move two of the access points to the subgroup bar. The other access point will be moved to the subgroup piscina. We've also got the option to uh, give your access point an alias. An alias helps give further clarity and identification to your access points. As you can see, one access point has already been given the alias messes or tables in English. Um, I'm going to create uh, a few more uh, aliases, one called Bada and another called Piscina. Let's now go to our groups view we can see our newly created subgroups and their associated APs. We can also see the AP status. Um, it currently shows zero are offline, zero um, require configuration, and zero require a synchronization with the cloud. As you can see, we also have uh, an alert button which will notify us of any access point that requires configuration, synchronization, or if it's offline. Let's now go to our CHT zone view. CHT is where you can manage uh, the CHT smart algorithms such as smart roaming, load balancing, etc. If you click here on the CHG zone button, um, you can see the current CHG zones in operation. You can see we already have an existing uh, CHG zone called CHT exterior. Let's now uh, add our three access points to this uh, zone CHT exteriors. Once added, they'll be able to participate in any CHT algorithm selected, i.e smart roaming, load balancing, etc. Let's now go to the backup and restore tab. Here we've got the option to uh, backup our access points to the cloud and restore backups from the cloud to access points. Now let's go to our firmware tab. Here we can download from the cloud the latest versions of firmware for the relevant access points. Here you can see the access points and the current version of the firmware they're running. Um, if you want to change the firmware version, just go to the Upload Firmware button and uh, upload accordingly.
Let's now return to our network overview. We'll go back to the network tab. Um, we're going to configure uh, two access points in the group bar. So we select them. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, configure AP network uh, button is now available. We'll now click on the configure AP network button. Um, we now have the option to configure the various network variables such as SSIDs, VLANs, etc. There's also the option to uh, control the radio settings on the access points. Um, we can control the band, the channel, the power, the mode, and the uh, bandwidth. Here we have the TCM traffic congestion management option. Here we can uh, establish our minimum and maximum speeds. Once we're happy with any configuration we've applied to the uh, access point radios, we just save configuration. We can now go to the VLANs tab. Here we can create new VLANs to separate the network traffic amongst our access points. We can now go to the SSID tab. Here we can define the various CXG algorithms that will be used in the SSID. Um, there's pre-balancing, load balancing, smart roaming. You can also set the uh, relevant password encryption for the SSID uh, on, on this tab. If we go to the CHT tab, we can enable ACA, Automatic Channel Assignment. This helps with uh, external interference uh, if your access point is uh, suffering from interference from an external source. The uh, ACA algorithm detects and reassigns the access point with an appropriate channel. Okay, uh, now let's return to our Hotel Espana uh, Zone Manager button. Uh, if we click on it, we've got the statistics view. Here we can get a graphical representation of how our Wi-Fi network is performing. We currently have five clients uh, connected to the three different access points. All the clients are requesting uh, high definition video streaming. Um, in the graphical uh, representation, we can see the current uh, CHT throughput in uh, KBPS. We can filter the overview tab uh, via the access point alias, the IP address, or the MAC address, or the model. This is useful when we want to pinpoint a certain access point and uh, gather the statistics. It can uh, prove to be useful when we have, for example, hundreds of access points in use, uh, filtering that down to just a few. Here we can see the total throughput per SSID, uh, here shown in red. If we go to the SSID tab, we can see total throughput per SSID, uh, here shown in red. 
we can also see the clients and uh, what band they're connected to on the SSID, either via 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. If we go to the clients tab, we can see the status of all connected clients. We can see the uh, MCS table, which gives us our MCS rates. Obviously those with the better signal uh, have a better MCS. On the uh, MCS table, we can also view the 802.11 mode. At the moment, we're displaying just those clients connected in 802.11 AN mode. We can see six to ten of those clients. There is a graphical representation of signal to noise ratio, SNR. Um, it currently displays that we have uh, two clients in the 25 to 40 SNR uh, bracket. We also have three clients with a very good signal of 40 plus SNR. We can also filter this view to display maybe just the clients with the uh, greater than 40 SNR. It's also possible to view the clients via their uh, supported uh, protocols, 802.11k, R or V. This is helpful for us to identify those clients that support um, functionality such as soft roaming, client probing. Once again, the uh, view can be filtered accordingly to display the relevant protocol. It's possible to filter the client's table. We can filter it to the client MAC address. We can also filter it to the AP MAC address, the AP alias or the AP IP address. If we go to the uh, network layout tab, we get a visual representation of our uh, uh, clients and the access points they're connected to. We can see which radio in the access point they're connected to, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, and how that can change. We're now going to the coverage map tab. Here we can upload building floor plans and maps. Um, we have a scale of meters per pixel that you can input here. Once your map or floor plan has been uploaded, we can click and drag uh, access point models onto the map and get a, an accurate representation of the uh, heat map, the radiation pattern of that access point. It's a very useful tool to help us plan. Once you've uh, dragged your access points onto the map, if you click on the show map button, uh, we'll get a graphical representation of our heat map. That completes the video presentation on CHT Cloud Manager. We now click on the Cloud button to log out of our Zone Manager. Thank you for watching.